Yes, we are in the 70s right now. And check out those dew points. Those are only in the low 60s. So it's not feeling humid and muggy and sticky today, which is very nice. Our feels like is just about the same as our actual air temperatures. Usually what well, we haven't been seeing that in quite some time. But today we are heating up. We're going up to the upper 90s for us. 97 in Tyler and Longview. Areas up north seeing slightly cooler temperatures. Mount Pleasant up to 95, 94 in Linden. Warming up as we get to parts of deeper East Texas areas like Palestine, Crockett and Groveton, very close to 100 degrees. But tonight we are dropping down. We have a little bit of relief on tap. Tyler down to 71. Most of us dropping down to the 60s. Jacksonville down to 69. Same in Mount Pleasant. Linden all the way down to 68 tonight. Same in St. Augustine and in center. And today we have a couple of clouds that are hanging on, which will keep those high temperatures from feeling too high. You can see them right there hanging up in the northern part of our area. But I want to turn our eyes to the Gulf for Hurricane Idalia. Right now, it's just about to make landfall on the coast of Florida. It is currently a category four hurricane. That means the winds are 130 miles per hour or higher. It's moving very quickly up to the north northeast. And let's put on that tropical tracker so we can see where it's going right now it's category four it's moving up to the north but once it makes landfall it should weaken rather quickly to a category two however what we're measuring here with our hurricane categories is the strength of the wind so it's still going to dump a lot of rain and create a lot of hazards as it moves up through florida georgia and along the coast of the carolina still it starts to move itself out into the atlantic a big thing that we're watching is our storm surges. So that's when the ocean is going to come up onto the land because of this hurricane. The biggest concern that we're watching is in this purple area right here. That's where the storm surge could be anywhere between 12 to 16 feet. And you can see the hardest hit area is going to be this area along the panhandle of Florida, but pretty much all along the peninsula is going to see some sort of storm surge along the east coast as well. So this is going to be a very wide reaching storm. It's going to impact pretty much all along Florida and along the coast. However, here in Texas, we won't be getting any of that rain. We'll be staying out of the path of the hurricane. You can see what it's doing is it's pushing drier air into our area. That's everything in the brown, and that's going to keep us from getting too humid or even from seeing rain for a little bit. However, once that hurricane moves out to the Atlantic, we'll see the return of humid air in East Texas. So then it's when we start seeing our rain chances start to ramp up ever so slightly, then that's going to be over Labor Day weekend when we have a 20% chance of rain jumping up in our forecast and then about a 30% chance returning on Wednesday. So looking ahead into the holiday, it will be a very warm weekend in East Texas, 100 degrees in Tyler on Saturday, 100 on Sunday. And then from there, we are going down ever so slightly to 99, but enjoy today because we are in the 90s starting to warm up 97 is the high winds pushing out of the north, keeping us from getting too humid. And then we are in the mid 90s starting tomorrow, but warming up from there. Watch out on Friday for that windy day and then triple digits through the weekend 99 on Labor Day and then a slight cooling starting at the beginning of next week.